So, Mistral Small 3.1 has just been announced. This is a new update from Mistral, which is a French AI company, and it's like a rival to Gemma 3. In fact, in the benchmarks here, you can see they've compared it directly versus Gemma 3, which is the latest model directly from Google, a small AI model. It's going to be open sourced. You can actually get it on OpenRooter as well. I'll show you how to get that in a second and how to use this. And it says the model outperforms comparable models like Gemma 3, which is, of course, the latest model from Google, also outperforms GPT-4 Mini, whilst delivering inference speeds of 150 tokens per second. Now, the other difference is that it's got an expanded token window of 128k tokens, like you can see right here. You can see the benchmarks, so you can see how it's performing in terms of latency. And if you actually look here, it's compared for performance. So you've got Mistral small three in orange, Gemma 4 mini and Claude 3.5 Haiku. And on all the benchmarks here, this smaller model is outperforming the latest model of Google. So they've released it like a week later and it's already outperforming them. Same for MMLU. So you can see here, GPT-4 Mini outperforming it for MMLU over here. But Mistral is holding its own right there. It's actually outperforming for human evaluation. Like you can see, it's not that great at maths versus Gemma 3. But for everything else, it's pretty powerful stuff. It's also a multi-modal model. That means that it can actually use, for example, like vision, that sort of thing. And also we've got some other examples. It's a multilingual model too as well, and it's got a much longer context. All right, so you can see the benchmarks here. In terms of context windows, pretty long context window, 128K tokens, pretty powerful stuff. So it's really lightweight. One of the things here is like it can run locally really well, fast response and conversational. So it's super fast when you use it. You can fine tune it as well. And it's also useful for advanced reasoning, plus it's multimodal. And if you want to fine tune it, then you can fine tune it on Google Cloud Vertex AI, right? So you just go to Google Cloud Vertex and then you can start using the Mistral AI model. Like you can see right here, Mistral 3.1 is the one available on here. And then you can just set that up using the model card, right? It's also available on Hugging Face as well. So you can host it that way. And this is open source, like I mentioned. So pretty cool stuff right here. You can see the example, the characteristics, how it performs, use cases, etc. So it's good for programming, maths, reasoning, dialogue, everything else, visual understanding. And if you want to use this, you can go to Open Router as well, right? Now, if you go to Open Router, it has like access to loads of different models. So for example, it's got access to Gemma 3, Mistral, Claw 3.5, Haiku. And additionally, you can see a comparison of all the models right here. But if you type in Mistral 3, so Mistral, small 3.1 we can open this up we can click on chat and you've got the details of it right here you can also see the providers so if you click on providers over here we've got the providers the apps so you can see here that it's actually available inside client as well using mistral small so i'll show you how to use that in a second along with rucode so rucode and client also use mistral small and you can grab an api key directly here all right now, if you want to start using this inside OpenRouter for free, then you can just go onto OpenRouter over here and then you can start going back and forth with it. So this also links to web search and you can change the settings here. So for example, you can change some of the settings, auto expand, etc. You can start a new room, click web search. Let's test if the web search works. So I'm going to say, tell me about Mistral small 3.1 using the web search. Let's see what it comes back with. Hopefully this works. This is also available on the model card with hugging face. So you can see all the details right here. One thing is not available on. So unlike Gemma, Gemma 3 is available. If you want to host it locally, you can just select the drop down details here and then just make sure you have Olama installed and then run this in your terminal. But if you want to get access to Mistral inside Olama, it doesn't seem to be there yet. I think it's coming. Let's have a look here. Oh, there we go. Look, so you've got Mistral Small available now. So you can actually download it with Olama. The way that you can do that is you would just download Olama, right? So if you want to run this locally or offline, download Olama. And then from there, you can run this terminal command. If we open up terminal, for example, right here, so let's open this up. 
And then we just have to make sure we have a llama running in the background. So make sure you have our llama open. Wait for that to load. Once you've done that, you'll see the icon for our llama in the top right. Then go back to your terminal, copy this command from our llama, and then go to terminal, plug that in, and it will start downloading it like you can see right there, right? So if you want to host this locally, if you start want to run in this, etc., locally, then you can get the latest version of Mistral Small right there. I'm just going to stop that for now, just so I don't slow down the video, but it's quite easy to get that set up. It's about 13 gig to download. Pretty easy and simple to do. Let's see if there's other models. So if we search for Mistral Small 3.1, we've actually got loads of different options here. Look at this. So you've got all these different examples hosted. Lots of people have uploaded it. 128K context, like you can see. And that was updated just three hours ago. So you can select between these drop downs and then again, just copy the command, run that in your terminal, and then you can host this locally, which is pretty cool. Also, you can see here, so it's given us the latest information about Mistral inside the chat here, which is pretty cool. And we've got the details. Seems to be really fast as well when it's replying. What I want to say now is create and code a HTML landing page for an SEO agency. Let's see if it can do that. So it's coding it. You can see how quick it is when it's coding, like really good stuff. And also it's a multimodal model. So we can actually take a screenshot of a website and then use that to clone it as well. We'll do that in a second. So if we zoom out here, we'll grab a screenshot of this. And then using that screenshot, if we just copy and paste it, we'll duplicate the chat room, go to new room, open that up paste in the image so you can see the image of the website in the bottom left there and then we'll say clone this see if that works in the meantime we've got the html back from mistral like you can see we'll scroll up that seems to be good to go let's preview this on liveweave i'm not sure how good it's going to be for coding because it didn't perform well on maths benchmarks but let's see it's not bad to be fair it's pretty basic that website but it does the job Let's see if we can actually scroll down. Yeah, we can. Added a contact form. One click. I wouldn't say that's as good as Gemma or Gemma 3, etc., but it's okay. And then, for example, it's now coding the cloned website, right? So what you can see here is we have uploaded this image. We've just said clone this, and it can clone that website. So it's like, right, clone the website involves multiple steps. Here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to build the front end, and it's built out the HTML, then the CSS. And then the JavaScript as well, right? So if we now go back to live weave over here and we'll grab the HTML from Mistral small. Here we go. Let's copy that, plug it in. Then we're going to grab the CSS. We'll plug that into live weave over here. And then finally, what we want to do is just grab the JavaScript. All right. So we'll plug that in over here. And then if we open this up, this is the website that's created with the JavaScript. It's cloned the copy. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be that great for coding, but you can see how easy and fast that was to do. Honestly, if I'm going to clone something now, I think for me, what I've seen so far is like Gemini is the best, right? So if we actually take this and then we go to Gemini, like from what I tested this morning, if you check out my other video on Gemini, with the canvas option now, it actually creates better outputs. So if we say clone this, Wait for that to load. Make sure you have canvas selected. Hit enter. This can actually code using the canvas here. And I'm almost guaranteed this is going to be better than Mr. Al Small. And from what I've compared, it's actually better versus the, it's better than Claw 3.5 Sonnet. If you want to see an example of what we coded earlier using this process, so let me find an example. So this is the SEO agency landing page with Gemini and the new update with canvas. And that is 10 times better than what you get back from Mr. Al Small. But you can see how powerful and easy it is to use. You can download it locally. It's quite easy to preview and use inside the chat here. I don't think that's cost me anything as well. So let me just go back inside the credits usage section here. So we've not used any credits for that. As far as I'm aware, let's have a look. If we go back inside OpenAI, has it charged us? Yeah, so look at that. Like it's so cheap. It's cost us 0.0. .0 zero zero four four credits to use that so it's ridiculously cheap to use mistral as you can see right here and if you want to see okay what's my credit usage just go to openrouter.ai forward slash activity 
And then you can see the timestamps plus how much it costs you, right? So that's literally less than half a cent. It's not a cent, it's not half a cent, it's less. And then you can see the cost of the API plus the speed here, super fast when it's coming back to you. Plus you can see how many tokens it costs, where you used it and which model you use, which is super powerful. Now, what we can also do is we, if we open up Visual Studio Code, if we go to Klein, let's open this up. And then if we go to settings over here, we're going to allow that. And then inside Klein, we should be able to select Mistral and we should be able to use, let's have a look here. Have we got Mistral? Yeah, small latest. That's the one I think you'll be using. If you want to be 100% sure that you're using Mistral 3.1, let me type this in. We should be able to find that there. There we go. So you can see here we've got Mistral small 3.1 instruct right there using Open Router. Right. So if you want to code with an IDE using Mistral 3.1, you can plug it into Klein. And Klein is one of the most popular apps for using the Open Router Mistral API, as we saw earlier in this video. Right. Now, if you want to get access to Visual Studio Code, if you're not sure how to set this up, etc., pretty powerful tool actually tend to use this more than I do for cursor or anything like that. So essentially what you would do is you would go to visualstudio.com, download this. You can choose whether you use it for Mac or whatever. Once you've done that, then you're going to go over to Visual Studio Code, go to extensions, type in Klein, and this is available with Klein, or you can also install RuCode. RuCode is another extension that you can install. Once you've installed those, you'll see it on the left-hand side, like you can see right here. And then inside here, just make sure you've got Open Router selected and then Mistral small 3.1 instruct. You can also see there's a free API with Mistral, but I don't think that's 3.1. I think that's just like the small model from before. Then from here, we can start using this. Let's give this a whirl. we we'll say, are you working? We'll test if that's working or not. Yeah, so you can see here it's working. It's using the Mistral small 3.1 option. And then we can start coding inside our project using this process. Really easy and simple to use Mistral directly with Visual Studio Code. So that's pretty much it. I will include an SAP directly inside the AI Profit Boardroom if you want to get access to this. So if you want to get access, just go to the AI Profit Boardroom with the full SAP. This also includes like all my latest SAPs, right? So for example, AI agents, MCP agents, Google Free Deep Research, Manus AI, etc. If you want to learn all the latest stuff about AI, with step-by-step -step instructions and video tutorials. Join the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description. Also comes with like email content automation, social media and video automations, AI agent workflows, web automation, AIC automations, and 10 templates, Q&A call recordings, crash course, and all my best SSPs. Top of that, this community is all focused on making more money and saving time with AI. So if that sounds like you, feel free to join. And then if you have any questions, you can post inside the community, ask any questions you have. And additionally, it comes with weekly live Q and A. So if you want to jump on the Q and A call today with us, feel free to jump on that. Just join the AI Profit Boardroom and you'll get all the details inside there. So feel free to get that link in the comments in the description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month, feel free to get that link in the comments in the description and you'll be able to get that directly here. This comes with a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more lead sales and profits to your website. You will discover the secrets of your link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your site. Plus, how to quickly rank your competitors in link building based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. So if you want to get more customers, more leads, more sales from Google, feel free to book that in. Link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.